I'm on a mission. I want to find a pet that is a baby. But not just any ordinary pet, a pet that no one else has. There we go. She's sleepy. This pet must be cute, cuddly, and easy to take care of. And most importantly, be mine. Our dog, Baby Otter, is technically my dog. Oh my goodness, Otter's in the pool. Otter, okay? But he lived with my mom and I moved out, so I'm ready to find a pet of my own. This is so wild. They have a turtle just walking around the pet store. Oh my goodness, this is huge. There's a lot of cute pets at the store that I want to bring home. Oh boy. Oh boy. But the thing is, it's such a big decision. I have a challenge for you. I'll be hiding these five tour tickets throughout the vlog. Comment down below the moment you spot these tour tickets for a chance to win the giveaway. Or you can get your tickets at stevenshare.com. There are so many animals to pick from. This is a harder decision than I thought. Oh, to make this decision a tiny bit easier, I need to put myself to the test. Like any big decision, we need to make a pros and cons list. Writing out this list got me nowhere, but I got an idea. These challenges are gonna help me pick the best pet. I love building Legos, so I got a whole variety of pet Legos to help me decide what pet I should go shopping for. Let's get building. Oh yeah. Whee! Oh yeah. Each Lego kit has three build options. I'll be picking one, but you have to guess before the animal is completely built. Comment down below along the way if you know what animal I picked. Building will help me choose the perfect pet. Like that, a fish. This could be a pet option. Oh yeah, a little bunny rabbit. It's so cute. Perfect, completely built, and this is a panda bear. And just like that, I completed all Lego builds. And each one of these animals could be an option that I pick at the pet store. We have a bunny rabbit, pretty traditional. A fish, also very traditional. A panda bear, which is very unique. And they're so cute and cuddly. Out of these three, I'm trying to think which animal I would pick. And I'm still having a hard decision, but I need to go to the store with a game plan. I need to do a lot of challenges to help me decide what animal I'll get at the pet store. This is Guess That Sound Animal Edition. I'll be listening to different animal sounds and have to guess what it is. I'll have 10 seconds to guess. If I win this challenge, I'll be giving away free merch. So make sure you comment down below Grace for a chance to win. But if I lose this challenge, I'll have to drink this whole thing of hot sauce. Here we go. Is that a bird? Mm. Pigeon. Yes. Oh, I definitely know this one. That one is cat. Yes. Um, what is that? Uh, donkey. Yes. Oh, this one's so easy. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. Sheep. Yes. Oh, this one's so easy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Comment down below if you know this one. I hope you do. Uh, dog. What? Oh, that's so similar. Okay, this one is dog. Perfect. Um, goose? Oh, darn. Um, mouse? Yes. Oh, is that a uh, rattlesnake? Oh yeah, I just won, which means I'll be giving away free merch. So this is your last chance to come down below to enter the giveaway. And I'll be looking through the comments right now, picking a lucky winner. Let's see, who do we have? Oh, I see a lot of people. Hmm, today's lucky winner will be Alyssa McKay. Make sure you check your mailbox for the brand new merch shirt coming your way. To decide what animal, I know I want something small. Animal that will fit in these size boxes because I travel a lot. So it has to be able to fit in a pet carry-on. With that being said, this what's in the box challenge is gonna help me determine what pet to get at the pet store. Going over here first. Oh, it has sharp teeth. Sharp teeth, flat tail. Is it a groundhog? Oh man. Okay, let's see what this one is. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, okay, I know what that one is. That one's a snake. Where did it go? Okay, let's go to the next one. Yeah, I know for sure I don't want a snake because we've had plenty of those around the house and outside. Steven, what is that? It's a snake. Where did that come from? Out of the pool. Snakes are off my list. Um, Some sort of fluffy animal that has eyes, a tail, a raccoon. 
Yes! Okay, now I definitely have a better understanding of what pet I'll be shopping for today. This emoji challenge will show me what animals are out there that I can bring home as a pet. Here we go. Butterfly. Yes. I've seen this before, so that one was easy. Moon key? Monkey. Yes. Dance bug? Uh, ladybug? Yes. Camera bag? Action box? This one looks hard. Comment down below if you know any of these answers along the way. This one is really hard. Action pack? Camel? Oh my goodness. Ugh, got that one wrong. Poop paper? Butter? This one's so hard. Dog? Bear? Hmm. Hold on, I'm running out of time. Um, um, um. Butterfly, bug, um, dog, deer, oh no, poodle, ah, oh, I could have guessed that, I love dogs, darn, ocean, horse, ocean horse, ocean, donkey, wave horse, seahorse, yes, kangaroo, uh, cat, caterpillar, Yes! Dragon plane? Dragon horse? Dragonfly? Yes! Honeybee? Yellow jacket? Bumblebee? Yes! Woohoo! Okay, time to go to the pet store and get the official pet searching shopping started. Oh wait! We have a delivery! New fan mail! Oh, we got so much fan mail! This is a drawing of baby otter. This is from Kensley in Wisconsin. A cool canvas painting. Shout out to Kennedy. Whoa, a cool drawing of me and Steven. Shout out to Lavina. Whoa, a drawing of the Lamborghini from Brienne. The share the love sign from Mark. Share a guinea drawing from William. Share the love poster from Emmett. Any share the love hand from Cam. Share the love artwork from Luke. Share the love hoodies from Ben. If you ever want to send us fan mail, our mailing address is right here. We have so much fan mail that I can't waste my time. I have to get to the store and start shopping for a pet. Okay, it's official. Time to head to the pet store and let's get shopping. I'm so excited. I don't know what is gonna be at the pet store, but I heard it has fantastic animals and five-star rating. Let's get going. We're here at People's Pets Fish and Exotic Animals. Time to go shopping for a pet. Let's head in. Oh my goodness, there's an alligator. Wow, they have so many interesting pets here. Let's head in and let's see what they got. Okay, we made it. Let's see what pets they have here. Hello. Can I help you out with anything? Um, yeah, I'm shopping for a pet today. I don't know what type, but just kind of gonna explore around. Okay, well, welcome to People's Pets. Um, we got a variety of animals. You know, go free to look around and see what you like. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, there's a cat. Well, here's one option. Is that cat for sale? No, meow oh. meow is not for sale. Not for sale. Okay, let's see what they have. Oh, this thing looks like a jumbo alligator. That's the uh, black throat monitor. Um, these guys are from Tanzania, Africa. People have these as pets? Yes, they do. Oh my goodness. Actually, one of these are ours. Oh wow, there's two in there? Yeah, it's four in there. Four in that cage? Oh. Actually, it's feeding time for the uh, black throat monitors. Uh, you want to come watch? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's we check this out. These guys with the, eggs and stuff. the cage is open. That thing is ginormous. So big. <laughs> this is scary. They just eat raw eggs? Yes. Raw eggs, raw chicken. Look at it. Can Look you it. see that? These little guys are kind of really cute. I think they're way too big for what I'm looking for. These are so fascinating. Let's see what else they have. Look how cute they are. There's some that are cuddling up. That is so cute. They're kind of adorable. And the store manager said that they're super easy to take care of. So maybe I'll be coming home with a bearded dragon. Oh, that's big. Oh my goodness. So cute. Cheers, do you like this bearded dragon? Big mama, say hi to the vlog. She could be one of the options that I take home. So comment down below if you like this bearded dragon. I'm kind of getting nervous holding this. I'm gonna hand it back so she can get safely back to her cage. So these baby bearded dragons have a lot of energy. So you can't really hold them. I think they'll just go crazy. So we'll see other options. That is tiny. Oh my goodness, that is a baby. So this little guy here is a tortoise, not a turtle. And 
this guy gets as big as the one we saw walking around? Yes, he gets as big as the one walking around. That is crazy. That is such a big size difference. This guy is so adorable. Like, how could I let this guy go? Oh, he's moving. Okay, that seems pretty simple. This little buddy, I feel like would be so perfect to take home. He's walking backwards. I wanna see all the options so I can make a final decision. Hi, little buddy. Oh, it wants to come to the camera. I think it wants to come home. You wanna come home? Oh, I think he wants to come home. Okay, we may be back. Oh no, there's a lot of snakes. I know for a fact I don't want a pet snake. We've had them in the backyard. Down in that corner? Yeah. Okay, that definitely looks like a snake. God! Oh my god, oh my god! And I think I'm scared of snakes and terrified of snakes. Oh, look, that one is going out the window. I feel like it's gonna escape from the cage. Oh my goodness, okay, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> yeah, I don't want a snake. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is our rhino iguana, Matilda, and it is also feeding time for Matilda, and I would like to let you do the honor. Feed? Oh my goodness. Um, okay, well, I guess if I'm gonna get a pet, I have to learn how to feed them. If this is the pet I'm taking home, I gotta be brave. I'm about to feed this rhino iguana. Oh my goodness, if the camera's shaking, it's because I'm nervous. Okay, here we go. Hi, right, buddy. There we go. She's sleepy. Oh my goodness, she's so funny. And see on her nose that she has like rhino horns. Whoa, that's cool. Now I know where she gets the name. Okay, you ready to get some food? Let's see. Maybe she's uh, on a diet and doesn't want to eat today. You look so sleepy. Oh, she's moving. She's moving. Where are you going? Okay, well, we'll have to come back and see if she wants to eat later. On to the next animal. Oh my goodness. Is it? Oh my goodness, it's scary looking. <laughs> What is this called again? Red Argentina Tegu. Oh, she's fast. Yeah, we just woke her up, so she's <laughs> like, oh, what's going on? She's not Bright a morning lights. person. We woke her up. She's got to finish her beauty sleep. You just woke up? Good morning. She's just like me. We're both not morning people, and if we get woken up, ooh, we're not happy. I feel you, girl. So she's from the tropical forest. She's $400 for our first pet. I'm looking for something small that's really easy to take care of. This might be like level three of my pet journey. Let's see what else we have. Oh my goodness, I see her head. So they like clean themselves, they just sit in water and bathe. They help digest, a lot of snakes oh. sit in water. They help digest. Anacondas literally live a lot of their time in water and land. Anacondas are very large constrictors, but I don't think this is one for you. That probably makes sense why we found those snakes in our pool, because there was water, and clearly they like water. And then over here are some koi fish. Look at these. Oscars. Oops, sorry, I meant Oscars. I thought this was a koi pond. How big these fish are. They're so massive. That is so cool. Yellow crown Amazon parrot. Miguel, he loves to be pet, and that's Aww. what he puts his head down for. Miguel also <laughs> loves peanuts. Okay, a bird seems more up my alley, and you are talkative. Hi, buddy. <gasps> there you go. Yeah, you like that? That is so cool. And these, this is a parrot. And as you can tell, it makes noises. Parrots are the birds that you can train to like talk English back to you, which is super cool. You hungry? You want another one? I think he's saying yes. Comment down below if you think this bird would be a good option. Let's see what's down here. Tarantulas over here. Some pink toe and Arizona blonde. Tarantulas? Uh, I can for sure say skip on that one. Oh my goodness, I can see one right there. That is a big furry spider. I can't believe people have tarantulas as pets. We also have some scorpions. Oh my goodness, a scorpion. Not a pet for me. These tortoises are cute. Oh, he's saying hi. He's poking out. Hi, buddy. You're cute. You look like he's been digging in the mud because his head is all dirty. These ones are a different one than we saw earlier. These ones, this is their max size, which is probably a better size for me to maintain because little baby that was so cute, he gets to this size over here. That is huge. Having that around the house would be, I think, way too much work for me. So over here, we have our small Aww. animals. That bunny's sleeping. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Dude, this one's black and and has white spots. Oh, he has a toy just like a dog. Oh, that is so cute. You are cute. Hi. Oh, just looked at me. Okay, this one's really cute. Oh, there's a turtle. There's so many animals around. Ah, there it is. Oh my goodness, this 
rabbit is so cute. It's literally like a fluff ball and just cuddled up in my arm. I don't know if I can let this one go. It's so adorable. Yeah, you wanna say hi to the vlog? Yeah? Cheers, comment down below if you think I should get this rabbit. If this is the max size, that's even better because it's a tiny little animal. And we have a little visitor coming around. The tortoise is back. Hi, buddy. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> For now, while I make the decision, I'll put you back in your home. Okay, we may be coming back for you though. This is huge. Hi, you've just been walking around the store all day. My goodness. You are funny. So this guy is about seven years old. It's a little baby. So here's another animal option, this tortoise. Come down below if you like tortoises. Oh, look how cute it is. Hi, cutie. Hi, you're so cute. Ooh. Oh, so this is a ferret and it's so cuddly. They do jump around and they love shiny things. Oh. If you had any rings, earrings. Oh, interesting. Diamonds. Oh, I think she's tired. She's going back to bed. <laughs> you tired? I've never seen a parrot before. A parrot? Ferret. <laughs> Not a parrot, that's a bird. This is a ferret. I've never seen a ferret before, but they are so cute. Like imagine just cuddling this ferret in bed around the house. It's kind of like a little bunny rabbit, just different. <laughs> I mean, like how adorable is she? Shares, if you think a ferret is a good pet option, comment down below. We'll keep exploring, but I'll put her back in her bed because she's sleepy. This tank has sharks in here. That is crazy. That's a shark right there. Yes. Whoa, there's a shark. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I'll I see surprise. it. Oh no, the snake is out. Is Brutus. Oh boy. Oh boy. I feel like I've seen this snake before at our house. 16 feet. 16 foot long snake. And still growing. Wow, how big will it get? Uh, 20 feet, maybe more. But, That's huge. But on average, 20 feet. I don't like snakes. If you do, here's an option for you. I'm gonna keep moving and look at all the other pet options. What type of fish is this? So that's a flower horn. This is our guy, Frankie. Frankie is very aggressive. Oh. So he has to be by himself. He doesn't want any company. <laughs> it's pink, pretty cute looking. And they're really smart because they have big foreheads. I just made that up. I don't know if that's true. Whoa, look at that. That looks like a shark. Oh yeah. Remember those sharks I was showing you earlier? Well, that is just a bigger version of one of our iridescent sharks. Whoa, I didn't know you could have a shark as a pet. That's actually pretty cool. This selection of fish is incredible. I have a secret. On my birthday, Steven, Carter, and myself went to the pet store and I was looking at fish and I picked out a fish and I even brought one home and I fully set up its tank and its environment and I got it all ready. But then a few days later, let's just say things didn't go well. There's supposed to be a beta fish in here. Uh, I don't see it. Uh oh, Grace. What happened? What? Oh, I think you don't, don't look, but we need to go to the pet store. Okay, they have a lot of pets here, and it's so hard to pick what pet to get. I think I need to call Steven. This is gonna be funny, because I don't even think he knows I'm at a pet store right now. I don't think he knows I'm looking to get a pet. Oh, it's connecting. Here he goes, Steven's gonna be so surprised. Hi, Steven. Where are you? Yeah, I'm at a pet store right now. You're at the pet store? Yeah, I'm just exploring around. They have a lot of crazy pets here, and I'm thinking of bringing one home. What are you doing there? Are you getting another pet? Yeah, the only thing is I don't know which pet to pick. They have so much variety here. They have bunny rabbits, fish, snake, reptiles. They got it all. I just can't decide what animal I should Pet. You know, we've been talking a lot and I've been wanting a pet. I just, now's the time to pick it and I can't pick. Jairus, I'm gonna prank Steven and act like I'm gonna bring a wild animal home. My favorite one is, let me show you. This one right behind me, can you see it? It's right in there. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. You don't like it? Why? Yeah, you probably shouldn't get an animal. Oh no, come on, Steven, it'll be fine. I haven't decided yet, but I'll surprise you with something. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. Steven thinks I'm gonna bring home this black throat monitor. 
<laughs> oh, this is gonna be funny. Shares, this is a really hard decision. I'm gonna need your help. So comment down below what you think I should bring home because I can't do this alone. So stay tuned to see what I do next. Share love, peace, woo!